G'day Ziggy D here with some Diablo 3 news. An infernal machine brings uber bosses to Diablo 3 and more changes in patch 1.0.5. A sneak peek at Diablo 3's patch 1.0.5 has just been released by Blizzard showcasing three of the changes in the upcoming Trail of Cinders nerf patch. The first of the three sneak peeks is on the planned defensive skill changes. Lalira writes that they will be making changes to defensive skills across the board, ending in a net buff to survivability for players, whilst making some skills less mandatory. In my opinion, defensive skills do need some work, though I'm sad to see a part of these sweeping changes will be the nerf to Trail of Cinders on the Demon Hunter's Vault skill. The next sneak peek is on an adjustable difficulty system, similar to Diablo 2's Player's 8 system. This time around they are calling it Monster Power, and it should give us a lot more control over the difficulty and hopefully rewards that we're given when we play the game. I'm super excited for this change because I love playing on Players 8 while soloing Diablo 2. The buff drops, experience, payout and difficulty of each mob made the game a lot more exciting. I hope the system ends up being nearly identical to the one featured in Diablo 3's predecessor. Finally we have the Infernal Machine, which is the name given to Diablo 3's uber boss system. Awesome. It sounds like this is going to be quite similar to the system in Diablo 2, where once some set criteria are met in the game, an uber version of a boss will be spawned. These bosses are a lot harder and have much greater payouts. Overall, this is a hugely exciting list of changes for the upcoming patch, and the combination of the Infernal Machine and Monster Power are going to add a lot to the end game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for today, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.